you tonight. Final game of the season as far as regular season play. It's also a district game. A lot of things are at stake here tonight, Marty. Those things over there, I'm not looking for it. And uh, I know the fans here in Ogrove are definitely not looking for it. Uh, checking the polls, Ogrove is six to win this ball game. Uh, OCS is six to win theirs tonight. So it's, it's going to be a real tight race tonight. Today it's rather warm out. Uh, it's not sticky, but the temperature is still up there a little bit. And it's a nice night for a football game. Uh, the weatherman back on our ra weather radar told us that uh, it's supposed to clear off in our area. So hopefully we won't see any more rain this evening. And then the scene and walk around and show this mic again. Now, concentration is always on the faces. They so relax, but uh, relax in a real good way. The mind's on the ball game. Uh, again, a real good workout, and uh, we're looking forward to a real tough contest between two good teams. Hey, the Mangum Dragons will be receiving the Chicago Band Beach Club. is going to be selling barbecue chicken dinners tomorrow from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. at that great big shopping center downtown. Uh, down the right past, uh, across the street from Big Star. Yeah. And that'll be from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. And that'll be uh, in the parking lot across the road from Big Star. Not very, very rarely seen. Oh. plenty of time. Now being paid, rolling to his right. Has to dump it off. It's up for grabs. It's caught, but it's out of bounds. Five to about the 36. 
again, we have uh, the quarterback, Tony Davis, calls for the snap. And this time, the hands off the going to go to Johnny Grimes. Grimes, this is uh, And he gets close to the goal line, let alone the first down. We'll see where they spot the ball. will be spotted on the three-yard line. So uh, Grimes, that time, getting the yards that they need. He's come through for him several times throughout this season. Right now, the old Tigers are threatening the Tigers. Get some points on the board. They're on three-yard line. And they're going to go back hands off to the left side. And he has stood up by a wide defender. Right there, Johnny Grimes. And he has got some people here. Uh, Johnny Grimes is going to be able to get the ball back. Johnny Grimes is going to be able to get the ball back. Johnny Grimes is going to be able to get the ball back. Johnny Grimes is going to be able to get the ball back. Johnny Grimes is going to be able to get the ball back. Johnny Grimes is going to be able to get the ball back. Right now we have uh, two men in the backfield. The quarterback keeps it himself. Goes around the left side. And gets the pass to his own. And Tony Davis keeps it. Goes around the left side. Just one tackle. Goes in for six points. We've seen several times uh, all year. Mike Tony Davis on the future set. By Scott Scott. And he will attempt to tie the ball game. Right now we have the quarterback keeping himself. Goes around the left side. Goes in for six points. Right now the quarterback keeps it himself. Goes around the left side. Just one tackle. Goes in for six points. We've seen several times uh, all year. Mike Tony Davis on the future set. Tigers are moving the ball pretty effectively on the ground. He 
Tigers uh, have been mainly keeping it on the ground uh, as Davis, the quarterback, calls for the snap. And this time he hands off around the right to the left side to number two, Marlon Gayfield. It looks like he gets close to the first down. We'll see what he's got. He's behind him. They see us there with one loss, and uh, Mangum right behind them. So we're going to close the division this year. SPS is down on the struggle from the Dragons and the Tigers. As right now we have a first and ten for Oak Grove as Davis hands the ball off to the halfback around to the right side. And taken down close to the line of Timmy's. Oh, there we go. Good job. Well, our center tonight is number 52, Terry Cooper. He's done a fine job all year long. Cooper's great right having back in the lineup. And going back to pass now, first time of the night as a quarterback. And he's in and out of the hands of his favorite receiver, Trayvon Rockman. Uh, and uh, Tyler, we need to get back to the land. Uh, wake up at secondary and bring him. That brings third and eight for Old Grove. Again, the ball is on about the 36-yard line. Ogo Grove. We've got two men in the backfield, one man to the left. The quarterback calls for a snap. Davis goes back to pass, and this time they're thrown, overthrown uh, over the head of number 20, Lamar Anderson, and Ogo Grove will be forced to put the seven off here at Ogo Tiger Stadium. And this is the final game of the regular season, and also a district game. A lot of stake here. The kick is up, it is high. Go across midfield down to about the 35 yard line before it goes out of bounds. They were spotted at the 35. Frank Kimmy gives the offense to Mangum, faced by a giant wall of defensive players from Oak Grove. We've got a man in motion for Mangum as the ball is handed off up the middle to number 32. That is Max Wallace as he is stopped by a. Find out the numbers here. We got number 86 of Oak Grove. Uh, that's Mike Morrisworthy. And there's a tackle somewhere around. Some places are outside too, and he's in there now. He's playing the middle linebacker. And going back to pass is Mangum, and up the middle. And he's Sky, you uh, play him in basketball. He's got a leaping ability, and uh, he just went up with the ball and took it down. We got interception for the Tigers, and a uh, big turnaround right here. The Tigers had the ball, and this time Jason's in the quarterback, and Martin for the first time tonight's nice quarterback, and hands the ball off around the left side. He's in there for quarterback. He's in there for Jason with a strong arm in the two. Uh, the baby's with really his spirit. Jason Martin now, the quarterback for the Oak Grove Tigers. We got two men in the backfield, one man right to the right side. The quarterback Martin hands it off. It's the middle again. Jason Martin, one, two, three tackles. It's not a 33. Jason Martin. Wait, moving a little furniture down there. That's what they're doing, getting things out the way. He's just more uh, room to run. Jason Mathis is a player everybody talks about all season long. He's been out, but right now he's up the car and showing what he can do. They said he'd be ready for playoffs, and sure enough, he's showing what he can do here tonight. He's had a few good runs already. Right now, Jason Martin, the quarterback, takes the ball, keeps to himself, throws around the right side, and then he's kind of mishandled. And right away, it was read by the defense, and he was brought down. He did get back to the line of scrimmage to about the 45-yard line. Up against the Mayhem Dragons, we are at home tonight at Oak Grove Tiger Stadium. Mike Roberts along with Marty Carroll on KWCR Sports, and we are having us a good time out here tonight. The weather has subsided. Right now, we hand out to the left side again, the number 33, Jason Mason. Right to the right side now, we've got number 13, and Tony Robinson, as the quarterback goes back to pass, yeah, Jason yeah. Mathis and Mr. Robinson, and it was almost complete with that, that's the last second. I bring the ball back across midfield, all the way back to the 46-yard line of Ogo, we had a holding call on the play. Oh, we got rid of that one. So that still brings up a third down situation. Third down and 18 for the Ogo Tigers. Still up to the line of scrimmage, we have number two in the quarterback, Jason Martin. Martin looks around, checks his teammates, calls for a snap, takes the ball. And we have a reversal as he hands off on the left side of Robinson. Robinson looks like he's 
Just back up to the original line of scrimmage, and that's about all. A good range. Number 30, Marcus Smith, is the one to watch. He's the one that ran that ball back a while ago. And then the leap over the one of our players and ran back the touchdown. The kick is high. Oh, it's a very good distance. Takes a straight up and down bounce. And it's down down the 30-yard line. As Mangum has a bungee out there. So they have a little bit of trouble digging in. And, uh, it's all still a little bit worse than the way we had the last couple of days. We don't seem to be a thing to the hunger out here, man. It's such a smooth team, man, nothing major. We're running back here as a kickoff number 32, Cecil, as he breaks around the right side. Oh, and runs out of bounds, throws a first down. Oh, now, it's a second and seven, as you just came in, five by eight. Six minutes and 13 seconds left to go in the first half of the play. It brings a second down and four, and keeps you waiting for the driving. And I thought about two of the writers as Robert Simmons as he calls for a snap again, a three man in the backfield, and he'll drop to that number 33 again. He breaks through some more two tackles and gets a punch to Miss Fields. I'm going to have to defend his life. I'm going to try to see that the running out of bounds. I'm going to get in front of him. I'm going to beat him. He's going to have to stay out along that line and just sit there and down, play off and block. Right now, the Dragons have a first down on the 50-yard line. Coming up on Larry Simmons, led by the quarterback, Ryder Simmons. He takes the ball, and he hands off around the left side. And then the 36, the throw is brought down. We have a flag on the play. He brought down to him about two or three defenders, one of those being number 10, Jason Martin. And he's going to come down the line with him. Brian Bruce, number 67, just come in in the bad game for Oak Grove. Coming out of the game at 74, Jimmy Hill, giving him a little breather. Oh, so, Megan, again, being set back on a penalty. Oh, Brian Bruce, number 67, just come in in the bad game for Oak Grove. Coming out of the game at 74, Jimmy Hill, giving him a little breather. Oh, Brian Bruce, number 67, just come in in the bad game for Oak Grove. Coming out of the game at 74, Jimmy Hill, giving him a little breather. Oh, Brian Bruce, number 67, just come in in the bad game for Oak Grove. Coming out of the game at 74, Jimmy Hill, the big man, Ty Burr, is right there and takes the man down for a loss on the play of about two or three yards. That's it, does it burn the first half of the play. And second down, and about 20 for the Dragons of Mangum. The second people who have the ball, quarterback takes the snap, ends it off to number 33 as he gets maybe one or two yards, and this time there isn't a player on the defense who is not in on the pileup. Everybody's still playing on the field in that pile. There's nobody deep nowhere. Just by reading names, they'll be here all night. The defense is going to be like this. It's a fan team of teams. They're going to be like this. Right now, there's a third down and about 15 for the men of Rogers. Man in motion in the corner. The quarterback stays back to pass. And he's got pressure put on him by O.J. Rogers. He's 15 in the corner. He's got to keep him in the corner. But the defense loves the receiver. And he's got down and he's got to go to the corner. And he's got to go to the corner. And he's got to go to the corner. A little bit of room, and they had a pile up in the quarterback, and they banged his head. <laughs> and I know he's not feeling well right now at this time, but he says he shook it off, he's back in the game. And then there's a quarterback, Robert Simmons, who's here for you. Right now, the uh, Dragons have a touchdown situation across midfield, by the side on the 41-yard line of O'Groves. And as they take the ball, this time he goes to number 33 again, the big... Dragon Butter Man as he gets around the uh, right side. Five minutes left to go on the first half of the play. So it's seven to seven if he just tuned in here on KWCL. This is Mike Roberts with Marty Kell. We are at Old Grove as the Dragons and Megan take the ball, fade back to pass, third round. Wide open, wide open to the 31 of Megan as he takes the ball to think into the end zone as Sean Thomas as a defender for Old Grove number eight. Once again, fires over the Old Grove Stadium. Coming up to the line of scrimmage for the extra point is the Dragons of Mangum. And here goes the snap. It is a high snap. And there is no game that he was taken by number 11 as the ball game continues. The two minutes. With over 115 years of auto insurance experience, I agents have the knowledge and with access to over 30 state approved companies, J.W. Wallace will most likely find the company you need for your auto insurance. With J.W. Wallace, auto insurance is easy. You can buy from us and pay us. With monthly payments if you like. With a yard line, the two minutes and 10 for the O.J. Tigers as they take the ball back to pass. Yeah, so you know, they got here the quarterback position uh, start kicking off. We got number 12 in there, Tony Davis. Back in. He's back in. 
And we got two men in the backfield, one man wide to the left, and handing off up the middle goes number two, Marlon Gayfield gets the game on play of about three blocks. I bring second down and five for the Ojo Tigers. Ball is right at midfield on the 50-yard line. We got one man for the right side. We are sitting right on two minutes as the quarterback, Tony Davis, takes the ball, keeps it himself. They're looking to hand it off, and the defense read it fairly well that good that time to shut him down. It's game of, the clock is running with a minute 30 seconds left to go in the first half. I don't understand why they're taking the time, Marty. That could uh, hurt him as the Elgro Tigers need a few more points going into the locker room. Right now, Tony Davis, the quarterback, calls for a snap, keeping it on the ground to number two again. Marlon Gayfield, he brought down in the bounds as the clock will continue to run. And he gets across midfield down to about the middle. Getting in a hurry about things. He's still taking the time here. A minute 17 seconds left to go, and the clock is running. Getting down a uh, minute 10 seconds. And going back to pass this time, Tony Davis. This time, they're caught. They're caught out of bounds. And they're going to run over the head of number eight lag on the play as these uh, officials having a hard time keeping it in their back pocket. But that's okay. That's okay. That's fine with me. Ojo has the ball. No penalty. Let's go. Tiger. A minute and four seconds left to go in the first half of play. You got one man wide to the right, one man wide to the left, and a half back. The quarterback, Tony Davis, calls for the snap. Takes it. Fades back to pass. Looking to throw long. Keeps it in the ball. And it is a holding title against the Tigers. That'll bring up a second down and 20 for Oak Grove. And the clock is running. Put the clock back in motion. 48 seconds of counting. Oak Grove Tigers taking the time to come up to the line of scrimmage. We'll see what happens here. Larry Davis, the quarterback. Tries to play out. Miller said he takes the snap. Rolls back around the left side, looking for something to be open. As he's taken down in the backfield, the defense read it well, and they came through the line of scrimmage. A few thoughts as those going to stay in the locker room. I would not like to be in the locker room at this halftime. Might get interesting. Very interesting. Mike Ditka has nothing on Coach Skywalker. Right now, rolling around the right side, passes off to number 20, Lamar Anderson. And Lamar is brought down up close to the 43 yard line as the end of the half comes to a close. So, for the second half, the Tigers will see from the north end.
seven. This is KWCL, Mike Roberts, along with Mary Carroll. And we've been brought to you Old Grove Tiger Sports all year long. And right now, they said it's good. Uh, period. So right now, coming up to the line of scrimmage of the offense of Megan, led by the quarterback, Rodney Simmons. Simmons keeps the ball, takes the handoff, and finally pitches back to number 30 as he runs around the left side and goes out of bounds. Close to the 35 yard line. We'll see where it's close to the 30 yard line, excuse me. Out of bounds with a good one play about five yards. Ready to bat as long as he possibly could and uh, making the pitch. Right now we have eight minutes, 14 seconds left to go in third quarter play. Megan on top, 13 to 7. The quarterback calls for a snap. Three men in the backfield, hands it up to the big man, number 34 of uh, Megan. That is Lavelle Robinson. And he gets a good one play of about Two or three yards have been third and two, third and two for Mangum. Well, third and two for the Dragons. Ball is down on the um, 28-yard line. Quarterback takes the snap and pitches back to big number 33. He almost dropped it, but he hung on. As he breaks loose, goes all the way to the end zone. And taken out of bounds and hurt very bad is number, looks like number 80, Steve Rockland, as he was clipped from the back and looked from up here. And he is in some kind of pain, out of bounds. And we have a touchdown for Mangum. Touchdown for Mangum. Laughing with a tough clip from behind there. That's a, it's true. I don't know. I think from up here. We'll, 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 we'll see if we can get instant replay back on this body. We don't have that. In high school. But from up here, it looks like he caught him right on the legs, and he is in some kind of pain. Sorry, no growth. KWCL and the Big Star of Oak Grove cares about our community. That's why from now until Thanksgiving, we'll be giving away a turkey a day. All you have to do is listen for the turkey gobble and be so if it's not really good for Mr. Rockman. So when you hit your knees, you might say a little pass and see Rockman. I don't know what that was going to call for. That was... The play was over with. The man was in the end zone. The referees were watching the goal line and did not see what had happened. Uh, you can't call him when you see it. You're going to love it, baby. Chop Lewis punish you today. 7-Eleven South, 8th and Monroe, 2209 Cypress and West Monroe, and 111 Elm and Del High. And don't be lost in the night. Turn to game here uh, again in Old Grove Stadium. Uh, Steve Rockland, the injured player for Old Grove, who just received a standing ovation for about five minutes from the crowd as they load him into the ambulance. Again, his leg is in a splint and uh, he is in some kind of pain. Uh, the Mangum team has just scored a touchdown. It's getting time to go for the extra point. And they're going to try for two here as going into the end zone. And it is good. It is good as Mangum Dragons get two. That puts the score up to 21. 21 for Mangum. Seven for Old Grove. And pick things up and start over. Again, uh, we are very sorry for anything that's happened to Steve Laughlin. Cheering them on as the ball is kicked in over in. And it takes a bounce. It is dropped by number two, Marlon Gayfield, as he picks it back up. And it's top loose. The ball is top loose. And the ball down around the 20 yard line of Oak Grove and they are threatening once again money. Mangum uh, getting a good hit there and the kickoff return call from the fumble. Uh, they're going to come up with a real good field position right here, Mike. Putting deep in Oak Grove territory. Tigers going to have to bear up right here and get after it. They dig it in deep. Quarterback for Mangum calls for the snap. Rolls around the right side, keeps it himself. And this time is brought down by a big number 86 and number 8. 86 is Mike Mills, worthy number 8 is Johnny Grimes. Going for a loss of two seconds left to go in the third quarter. Play still 21 to 7. Megan on top of Oak Grove at this time. Right now, the quarterback takes the ball, fades back to pass, looks on the end zone. And over the head of the receiver, and again, nobody. They were looking for it, as we talked about earlier. If there was anything that's been said, it was going to be. Going down to the wire, and then a third quarter up there. Six minutes, 28 seconds left to go, a third quarter, 21 to 7. Megan on top. Megan has the ball, quarterback fades it back to pass. And he passes, uh, throws it away as the quarterback was sacked. Quarterback was sacked that time by 70 for situation, fourth down and 12. 
And we'll see what they decide to do here. They'll probably keep it because they are deep into our zone territory. And I was having good ball possession out here, and they're going out there crowd, which is uh, so important. Ball is followed close to the 20-yard line. Our vote goes, again, fourth down and 12 for Mangum. And you can assume that they're going to have some type of pass play here. In comes number 36 for Mangum with the play. That's Marvin Terry. We have six minutes, 23 seconds, so you can hear the old Grove fan club out here hollering defense, defense. The defense is standing tough, going back to pass. There's a quarterback, and it is still completed to number 35 of uh, Mangum. And you can see him cross in the end zone. Let's see where he spots the ball. And there's a first down. So that's uh, positions around. Uh, number 33, uh, Jason Bass is going to tackle. A lot of things happening tonight in Old Grove Tiger Stadium as the quarterback takes the ball, hands off around the right side. It's Fimbers, ball is Fimbers, and it is picked up by Oak Hill. Right there, it recovers it. And they will take over at about the three-yard line. And big number 34 that time drops the ball. It was way down. And it's uh, on his own, ball on the three-yard line. They'll have a tough time coming out as Mangum has shown that they do have a defense to be reckoned with. On the line come the mighty Oak Grove Tigers, led by the quarterback, number 12. Tony Davis, Tony Davis, calls for the snap, takes the ball, hands off up to the left side, and it is carried up for about a gain of four or five yards. That time we can uh, uh, run and run and make a little short trip pass uh, to the tight end coming off the line, just give him a little breathing ring here as we saw earlier. Uh, a little bump pass to the right side, got him up there. And then second down and five for the Oakland Tigers, they'll take the ball this time, hand off up the middle again, get the game on the lane, and get another couple yards. And they are moving the ball on the ground, trying to get that first down. Third and three for the Old Grove Tigers. As the quarterback, the Tony Davis, number 12, calls for the snap, takes the ball himself, keeps it, runs it out on the left side, winds and twists, gets close to the first down. We'll see what he's proud of that. He was knocked back instead of forward. Back on the play. I see a flag out there. Uh, it's not long for it. An official lost it. The ball is up, and it's not going very far. And it hits the bench over here at Oak Grove and goes out of bounds at about the 30 yard line. See, that's how you score. Mark Rogers from Mardi Carroll on you here. Now you're on top, 21 to 7. And uh, they'll take off from uh, the Tiger 40. The quarterback from Aiden pitches the ball back to number 46, and he breaks around the left side and brought down. Looks like by number 67. And that is Darren Bruce, a low ground, fine tackle by Darren. They get a gain on it. Again, the receivers, uh, if they can catch the ball, there's nobody in front of them. All around, all the way down, and could not keep a hold of it. That was almost a little sick, man. I just want to get the heads up, Mike. Midfield. That's a long seven yards to go, man. It sure is. That brings up a fourth and seven situation, and they're hunting. And this time, the rush is on. The rush is on for Old Golden. It is up, and it is good, a good kick, as it is taken down close to about the three-yard line. It seems like everything is going Mangum's way tonight. Tigers will have to shake all this off and uh, get their heads in the ball game. This big blow will see they'll be a mark out of ball game, but uh, they got to get the ball in this with the big ball game. You can have a throw in for the difference. This is doing no so often. Quarterback throws back to pass at number 12. We'll keep you up there and bring down as we come along. So now, three minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the third quarter of three. Oakland Tigers trailing 21 to 7. Turning back to pass is Davis. Going out of the hands at number 20, Lamar Anderson. They're only stopped to the end. Well, in the three pass, only about three minutes left. Tigers are uh, lined up. <laughs> Going back to pass again is Tony Davis, and this time it is knocked up and almost it he will be kicking from the very end zone. He gets the ball off. It's up. Doesn't go very far. Goes to close around the 20 yard line. And we'll see where they put it at. Uh, did not go up very high, nor did it go very low. So again, Mangum threatening. Ball on the 13 yard line, first and 10 for Mangum. They have the ball, quarterback, takes it, heads off around the right side. And this time being taken down by number eight, 
And Sammy Grimes with all goals. Good reason. Thank you. Well, a tough call early in the game. They may have been on top ever since. Right now, we have three men in the backfield. That's how they run. They push off the run. The quarterback this time rolls around the pass. Rolls around the left side. And it is in and out of the hands of a defender. Almost picked off by number 86. Mike Norris, was he? That'll bring up a third and ten for Megan. Norris, was he getting the tackles on the line, dropping back there. Both uh, grown from right and defense. That's why the quarterback, number four, Tom Davis, right now, the quarterback for Megan, throws back the pass. Pass is up to him, middle, throws the eye, but it misses the intended receiver. That'll bring up a fourth down situation. And we'll see what they try to do. They're going to just try to go for it. They're not going to try any kind of a uh, field goal. They're going to run the ball on the ground. And this time, they do a double reverse and back to pass is the second halfback. And a little flea flicker. And we'll see if he catches it. Everybody's holding the breath. Let us see what the rest of the official does. And it is a touchdown. Again, we have a double handoff. The old flea flicker. And it worked as it's the point. But the puck in, four went for the head. And he turned the ball for Tolley. Two kicks on it. And it was intercepted by number 33, Jason Mathis. And he ran down two. It's a stronger economy. If you've had problems trying to get auto insurance, Jed and Wallach may solve your problem. With over 115 years of auto insurance experience, our agents have the knowledge and with access to over 30... Tigers will have the ball as it is going back upfield to about the 39-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for Earl Grove. As the Tigers trying to get a few more points on the board and could get back in the ball game. We have two minutes left to go in the third quarter of play. Earl Grove falling by score, 27 to 7. Earl Grove back to pass. Tony Davis passes over the... Shoulders of number three, Lamar Anderson this time for wide receiver. receiver so and uh, bring him around to the left side. So uh, once again, uh, trying something different. Bringing Jason Martin out to be a receiver. And it is completed. Completed close enough to the first down. Let's we'll see what he spotted. And there we got first down. So that's the break they needed. Real good call on Coach, uh, Coach Ellis, of course. Now spotted on the 49-yard line. Uh, well, go over the clock is moving with a minute 40 seconds left to go in the third quarter of play. Oh, go Tigers trailing 7 to 27. And calling for the snap at number 12, Tony Davis, as he rolls down the right side, being chased by two defenders. He gets the ball away, complete to number 20, Lamar Anderson. Gets a gain on the play of about three yards, as he had some heavy deep field on about the 47 yard line of Mangum. Wide to the right here, we have number 10 again, Jason Martin. And wide to the left is number 20, Lamar Anderson. And throwing over to Jason, it is in and out of the hands of Jason Martin as he whips for the ball. And a good defense there. Good tickets left to go in the third quarter of play. Clock was stopped because it was a pass. It's Mike Roberts along with Marty Carroll right here on KWCL and the Old Grove Tigers. Trying to get fired up. You can hear the crowd hollering, fire up, fire up. Again, wide to the left is Jason Martin. And across the middle of the goal, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver. And again, he has four men on him. That was number 83, Scott. Third uh, view up here, we can Four through seven. Again, Jason was open that time, and it's true to his brother, Scott. Uh, this time, Jason wide to the left again. The crowd is standing up. They're clapping. They're hollering. Tony Davis, the quarterback, calls for the snap. Everything goes here, going all out, putting his whole heart into it. Goes long, and it is in and out of the hands of Tony Robinson, number 13. As it is. And Mangum has the ball on the 47-yard line of Mangum. And again, uh, 34 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play as he puts back to number 33, and he is stood up. With about a gain of three yards by about eight Oak Grove Tigers. The defense now is going to have to hold them and get back in the ball game. With eight, nine, six, seven, zero. Then you will win a nice, juicy Thanksgiving turkey from KWCL and the Big Star in Oak Grove. And as we resume play, leading by a score of 27 to 7, 
Mike Roberts along with Marty Carroll. Battle will be on the 20. Excuse me, the 40. Southern Lab. Southern Lab is the host of them, and uh, it's going to be a clash whoever turns up playing. Third down to five for the Mango Dragons, and they resume play action. Three men in the backfield, they've done it all night. He comes back and pitches to one of them, the other two are using the blockers. Hard to defend against, you don't know who's going to have the ball. This time they are stood up, short of the first down. Method. Yeah, group effort there. Uh, all the Tigers getting their own pass from big line. About two, fourth and a long two. As he dragging, slip the line stem as the quarterback tries for the snap. Takes it. Keeps it himself. And he is stopped, short of the first down. Around the right side again by Oh Graham's gonna have to dig in and get tough now. Four curl going all out. Wide to the left, we got number 10, Jason Martin. Wide to the right, we got number 13, Tony Robinson. Davis the quarterback, calls for the snap. The team is set. He takes the ball. And he hands off to the right side, number two, Marlon Gabriel as he breaks loose. Gets across the 50 to about the 40. So you got the second down situation, you got about one yard to go. They had to bring up a uh, second down the road for the Old Grove Tigers as they cross midfield, going back to pass to Tony Davis, and a little misread there as he throws it. Buried in short yardage. That'd be on the uh, one yard up. So they had a misread again. Right to the left for Jason Martin, wide to the right, Tony Robinson, the quarterback, Davis, this time hands off up the middle to number two again. Marlon Gayfield gets close to the need a win to win the district. But if either one fails, then the district winner will be OCS. Right now, the ball is thrown and intended for number 10. The ball game here. Going to take a quick breather. We do have one man right out to the left, to the right. Robinson to the right and to the left. We had number 11, Scott Schrock, and this time it was what happened. They must get the ball downfield and get some points on the board and get back in this ball game. We got one man wide to the left, one man wide to the right. This time going back to pass. Tony Davis, he gets time. Nobody open. Now he's being rushed as he runs towards out of bounds. Gets loose. And looks like he gets enough for the first down as Davis. <laughs> Tony Davis, the leader of the Oak Grove team, as uh, he was for his arm. It looks like a helmet might have caught him. And he's holding his arm this time in the quarterback. Will be number 10, Jason Martin. This is one of the hardest hitters, hitting games they've had all season. And back to pass at number 10, Martin. He throws it over the head of number 13. Ball will be fired on the 35 yard line of Mangan. Down to nine minutes, 11 seconds left to go in the ball game. Oak Grove must put some points on the board right now. Long way to go, a short time to get here. They're gonna have to get on it. Quarterback now is number 10, Jason Martin. He has an arm and a half. Pitches back to number two, Marlon Gayfield. Marlon Gayfield rushes forward, gets back up close. Rest of that arm again, as you said, it is taped up. It looks like he may have took a shot on it uh, a couple of plays ago. Once again, the Tiger is up to the offensive line. We got one man wide to the right, one man wide to the left. This time, Tony Long at number 13, Tony Robinson. And it is under thrown, and the defender knocks it down. Time uh, is stopped with 8 minutes, 33 seconds left to go in the ball game. Oak Grove trailing by four, 27 to 7. You can hear the crowd hollering, go, 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 as the quarterback goes back to pass. Martin passes. It is complete for Lamar Anderson. Lamar Anderson gets close for the first down. Uh, Martin comes up to the line. Style on his shoulders. To the right side, we got Robinson. To the left side, we got number 11, Scott Schrock. Martin, the quarterback, number 10, calls for the snap. Bays back to pass. Looks for the receiver. It is complete to number 20, Lamar Anderson, as he is taken down right away. A short little uh, quick pass off uh, to the right side. There's uh, getting underneath the coverage. Getting underneath his receiver, his uh, defender, excuse me. Again, we got one man wide to the left, one man wide to the right, a man in motion. As they have been flanked with penalties throughout the game tonight, and un unnecessary. They've had about four or five. A couple of holding thrown in there for good measure. Quarterback. Right now, we have our another quarterback in, and we go that's number 12, Tony Davis. 
see what he can do. This time we got man wide to the left, man wide to the right. Going around the left side is number two, Marlon Gayfield. He is brought down, has a gate on the play. The Tigers trying to get some more points on the barrel. Clock is running with seven minutes. Left to go in the ball game. Going back and over there, they got good scooping right here. Third and five, and this time rolling around to the right is Davis, throwing into the end zone. And you know it's complete, it's complete this time, the number 13, Tony Robinson, as the Oak Grove Tigers come back and put six more points on the board. Six points, and uh, we need this one. Need it bad, it is a good hike, the kick is up, and it is good. That brings the score, 30. Yeah, and the big star of Oak Grove cares about our community. That's why from now until Thanksgiving, we'll be giving away a turn. Mangum, Mangum is ahead right now, score 27 to 14, and the defense has got to get tough and show what they're made of here. They got to shut them down and get some more points on the board. Stanford's a big kick right here. Stanford does an onside kick. It doesn't go 10 yards. Did not go the distance far enough for an onside kick. And matter of fact, it did a horseshoe sale. But again, that's, a, that's the gamble of doing an onside. Tonight, all the trips are in the favor of Mangum. As Mangum has the ball. Quarterback calls for a snap, three men in the backfield. He goes back this time, hands out to big number 32. And he gets the gate on the play of about seven, eight yards before he's brought down by the Old Grove Tigers. Look, has the ball, second down and two, second and two for Mangum. And they had a ball on about the 27-yard line. As the quarterback calls for a snap, hands off number 32. As he breaks loose around the right side, breaks one tackle, is finally hit and brought down. He gets enough for the first down. And at number 32 again, that is Mark Wallace. As he has been a uh, big for this game. Definitely so. Ball just outside the Oak Grove 20 yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Mangum Dragons. We have five minutes and 50 seconds and counting left in the ball game. The score is 27 to 14. Oak Grove trailing by a couple of touchdowns and one extra point. Right now, the handoff around to the left side, number four. That is Ball's on the 19 yard line, second down. As the Mangum Dragons come up through the line of scrimmage, they still had a three men in the backfield. They've run that all night long. Pitches back to one of them, the other two are serving the blockers, and this time being stopped at the line of scrimmage by the Oak Grove Tigers, number eight. As Johnny Grimes on the play. And coming up to the line of scrimmage is the Dragons. The Mangum, a couple of people in there, calling for the snap, the quarterback. Three men in the backfield again. Face back for a little short pass up the middle. It is incomplete. I will still have four minutes and 18 seconds left to go in the ball game. And that's just down to 21 points. They're, going, we're for talking it, about. They're going for it, Mangum back to pass. And it is incomplete. Incomplete for the intended receiver and the intended receiver. Holy Tigers take over deep in their own territory. Ball spot on about the 19 yard line. In the quarterback, number 12, Tony Davis. We've got one man wide to the right, one man wide to the left. Going back to pass, the Davis, he passes up the middle, up the middle to Lamar Anderson, and he did not see it. Uh, he was wide open, but the uh, defense may have collapsed in that middle. They must have been looking for it. Tony Davis again, the quarterback. He's got another man wide to the right, another man wide to the left. This time, fading back to pass. Again to Lamar Anderson, in and out of the hands, and he's unable to hold on to it. That's why. Oh, really? It ain't over until the fat lady sings, and she's nowhere near it yet. Right now, the quarterback for the Hill Grove Tigers fades back to pass. He passes up the middle, in and out of the hands of Johnny Grimes, and it's overthrown a little bit. Ten, nothing to lose. Four minutes left, and they're going for it, folks. They're all hard. Fading back to pass at number 20. And it is hot. He was tied by number 83, Scott Martin, for the first down, and he gets Davis, through. and that's going to be a first down. The Tigers need it right here. That'll pick you up if you ever need a pickup. That will do it right there. They're in a hurry up. They're going ahead. And again, flip up the middle, in and out of the hands of Tony Robinson, trying to look. Nobody's going to hang on to it. You hold on to your hats. It ain't over with yet. The never say die offense for the Oak Grove Tigers up to the line of scrimmage. we got a man wide to the left, man wide to the right. And the quarterback going back to pass again, this time over the middle. And in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, almost. They'll get it to the line of scrimmage, one man wide to the right, one man wide to the left, one man in the backfield. Fading back to pass, it's only Davis, has all the time in the world. And this time it is intercepted, intercepted by Mangum. 
as he crosses the 50, the 45, gets down to the 43-yard line. And so we have a blocking below the waist. Again, that's happened a couple times tonight. We've got one player that can tell you all about it. He's in the hospital right now. And again, that occurred after the interception, so uh, Mango will keep possession. It will be Mango's ball. to try to keep this on the ground and run the clock down. They are ahead by a couple touchdowns and an extra point. As a handoff around the side, number 32, grinding his way around, getting gain on a play of about three or four yards. And that 32 is about on the ground. Once again, if you just tuned in, the score is unbelievably 27 for Mangum, 14 for Oak Grove. Mangum has the ball, pitches back to the halfback as he goes around the right side, and this time he's been stopped by three or four Oak Grove defenders. Uh, this week we'll talk about that in just a moment as to what could happen. Anyone's ball game here as going back with the ball as the quarterback of Mangum as he hands off again to number 32. It looks like he gets enough for the first down. He does. Another first down for Mangum. Ball is across midfield to the 45-yard line. That brings first down. The clock will continue to run with a minute 56 seconds left to go in the ball game. Let's talk just a minute here. Second place in the district. And uh, still give that road shot to play off. They'll still be there. But uh, it'll be a little bit harder. <laughs> A lot harder. That's right now. Going back with the ball, handing off number 32 again is the offensive line of Mangum, and that number 32 is Mark Wallace. We cannot cover the playoff. Need some help here, folks. <laughs> Period. Right now, we hand off to the left side. As uh, Mangum handed off to the left side, and we'll see who come up with the ball. For 27 to 14. You're listening to it right here on KWCL Sports. Once again, running the clock out is the quarterback, and that's going to be all I wrote is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and Oak Grove Tigers are upset by the Mango Dragons. They score 27 to 14. 27 to 14, the upset of the season in Louisiana high school sports. No matter which class you're in, this is a heartbreaker for Oak Grove. Right now, you can hear silence except for the band on the field. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap this thing up. This is Mike Roberts and Marty Carroll with KWCL, Oak Grove, Tiger Sports. thought that in my wildest dreams.